Here I have a piece of cooch grass or Bermuda grass and in this video we're going to lay it upside down and see what happens. So do you think it will grow? Leave a comment down below let me know what you think. Okay so I'm just going to be laying it here. In the future this will be a path but for now I can use it for this. So let's roll this out upside down. So there we go, all done. So I'll just tamp it down and then we'll give it a water. There we go. So I'm just going to look after this as you would a normal turfing job and we'll see what happens. My opinion, it will grow, but it might just take a while. So I'll show you guys what it looks like now and then I'll update you when something changes. Cheers. And I also trimmed around the edges just to try and get rid of as much of the green leaf as I could. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like now, just brown, so I'll keep looking after it like normal and I'll update you if anything changes. So this was about nine days later and you can see there's a little bit of green starting to come through which is promising all right here we are so it's been about four weeks since the last update and as you can see it's coming through quite well so I'll bring you in for a closer look okay so this is what it looks like just ignore all the leaves on there but pretty much got green coming through most places so I'll put this back and I'll, I'll have a look underneath so let's have a look underneath Pull this up here Ah, so there we go. But it's not really rooted down, like it's not there's not really many roots coming through. But it's definitely dying off underneath and coming through on top. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and cut it and I'm thinking I'll try and do it with the hedge trimmers. And we'll see how that goes. So I've got the old hedge trimmer, so let's give this a go. Oh yeah, not too bad. I think that worked pretty well so I think what I'll do now is just cut around the edges again with the shears so I'll just cut around the edges again and tidy it up a bit There we go guys, so I'll keep watering it and cutting it with the hedge trimmer, maybe another two weeks or so, and we'll see what it ends up looking like. But so far I'd say that, yes, you can lay your cooch upside down if you want to wait for ages for it to grow. 
I'll check in with you soon. Well, here we are, guys. So it's been exactly nine weeks since I started this experiment, and this is what we've ended up with. So I've been cutting it every now and again with the hedge trimmers, and it's definitely spreading. But as you can see, nine weeks worth of growing and it's not doing much. <laughs> so a couple of things I would say is that I haven't given this any fertilizer or anything at all apart from water. And the spot where it's in here is quite shady. It does get a little bit of sun, but not a whole lot. So maybe if I did it again put it in full sun and feed it as well and it might grow a bit better but I'll show you guys what's kind of happened is that what was the old top which was underneath has sort of slowly rotted away there's not really any roots you can still pull that up pretty easy and there's no roots coming through but maybe if you left it for long enough it would eventually root into the ground and start growing a lot better but who knows how long that would take so I'm going to call that the end of this experiment so in conclusion what would we say maybe if you really want to you can lay your turf upside down but nine weeks worth of growth here probably going to be a long time before you had a lawn so i'd probably recommend just laying it green side up with that said hopefully you guys enjoyed this video maybe found it interesting and if you're a regular viewer of my channel i'm maybe four three subscribers away from 400 so if you're a regular viewer and you're not subscribed yet why not subscribe? It's free and might push me to 400, which would be awesome. So really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next video.